This tutorial will teach you guys how to downgrade your 3.72 PS Vita or PS TV to 3.65. So all you need is Hencor 2 installed. I actually already have it on this, as you can see by the two Chinese symbols next to 3.72. So we're just going to close out of system information. And all we want to do to start off with is go ahead and open up Vita Shell. So we're just going to go and open up this. Obviously make sure your custom firmware is running. And once Vita Shell opens, you want to press select and you want to open up the FTP server or USB connection it's entirely up to you but go and connect this to your PC and I will show you guys what to do from there okay guys so over on your computer this is the tweet I will be following so there will be a link to this tweet in the description he's put a link to the tool and he's put a link to the guide as well so first of all on the guide it has all of the links that we need so it says how to downgrade your PlayStation Vita and PlayStation TV from firmware 3.71 or 3.72 to firmware 3.65 mine is on 3.72 so I'm going to be downgrading to 3.65 and once you're at 3.65 you can pretty much do what you want so what we want to do is first grab the 3.65 firmware file. What you want to do is highlight each of these links, right click it and just click on go to. And from there all you want to do is download each one. So here's the first one, make sure you've got this downloaded, I already downloaded it. Then this one here is the 3.72 update file, so make sure to grab a copy of this as well. And then the next link they have got on there is the latest release of Modaru. However you say it, I'm pretty sure it's Modaru. This is made by The Flow. He makes all the cool stuff. So make sure to go and grab a copy of this as well. Here is the VPK file. Just click on that and it will download. Next we have got the um, file which this guy made. Um, this is called DSL dsll-mdr72 so make sure to highlight that go to it and what you want to do is just click on view raw and that will download the vpk for you and then the last file we need to get is the update underscore sm file so again go to this link all you guys want to do click on the green download button and you can download this as well okay guys so once that is done all you want to do is go to your downloads folder and we can find all of the file files in here so what we want to do first is make sure filezilla is open you want to select your downloads folder and we actually want to connect this to our ps tv or ps vita or whatever device you're using so i'm just going to type in the ip address mine's 192.168 1.79 keep in mind this will be different for everyone but the port is always 1337 and then we're just going to click on quick connect and we're actually going to just connect to our PSTV so what I'm going to do is select both of the VPKs hold control you can highlight both of them and we're going to drag and drop these into the UXO folder so there you go drag and drop them files have been transferred let's go back onto my PSTV and let's install them Alright guys, so once we're back, we're going to press circle for cancel, and we want to scroll down, and we want to press X on UXO. We want to scroll all the way down again, and we're going to install the two VPKs. So find DSLL first, press X, press X for yes, and just wait for it to install. This one should take a couple of seconds. And then once this has finished installing, we also want to install Motheru. So just press X on this one, X again, and then just wait for it to install. So now what we can do, we can actually just exit out of each shell quickly and we can just check they're on the home screen and here you are. Um, both apps are actually there. So once we've got them both, you want to just start up Vita Show again, go to the main menu, press select and let's connect it back up to our computer. Okay guys, so once you're back, you want to create two new folders. Just call one 365 and call the other one 372. This will just make things easier for you. So two folders just like that. Now you want to select both of the VPK files and just press delete on your keyboard. That will also make things easier. Just have a bit of a cleaner downloads folder. So double click on the 365 zip file. And what we're looking for is this folder right here inside. This one is called PSW, PS Vita OFW 3.65. Double click on this and now we're looking for this one. This file is called psp2update.pup. We're going to drag and drop this into the 365 folder. So just drag and drop that across and now that is done you can close out of these and we're going to do exactly the same thing with the 372 folder. So double click on this zip file. Uh, you need to go into this one right here. I can just actually drag this out of the way. Go into this one and now we're going to do exactly the same thing. We need to drag this across, but this time we have to drag this across into 372. So go ahead, drag that across. And then there you go. We can also close out of this. And that is all you need. You need both of the um, pub update files in your downloads folder, but make sure you put them in the right one. 
Okay guys, so once we're back, we've got to follow the next step. What we have to do is copy 365 and 372 onto our PS TV or PS Vita. First of all, let's focus on 365. So this one needs to go in UXO, App, and then Modero. So let's do that right now. So let's go onto FileZilla. Let's find 365. If 365, the folder is not appearing, you need to right click, you need to click on refresh, and hopefully it should come up. Also make sure you're connected again, so just click on click connect, click on OK, and it should connect in a second. But let's copy across this. So it said UXO, which is this one. Then it said to go into app, which is this one here. And then it said the modery, which is this one. So we're going to double click. We're going to go in 365, double click, and we're going to drag and drop this across. Keep in mind, this is quite a big file. Um, hopefully, I've got enough space for this, actually. Hopefully. We're going to wait for this to copy across anyway. So while we're waiting for this to copy across, there is actually something else we can make. And um, we need to create this file folder. So we need to create inside of data, it's called PSP2 update. And then this is where we put the folder. So I guess we can actually copy this and actually just make it quickly. So let's go back. We need to go into the data folder. So go back again, data right here. We need to right click, um, create new directory, which is this one right here. And then we just want to give it a name. So first of all, we're just gonna call it PSP2. We're gonna click on okay. And there you go, double click on this, right click, create um, create directory again, um, but this one is going to be called um, update, all in capitals, so again just backspace that bit, update, click on OK, and then there you go, and there you go, it looks like the other one has finished transferring across, so now we're going to go on 372, make sure you, you're in the right place again, so PSP2, obviously UXO, data, PSP2, update, drag and drop 372 across, and then there you go guys, that is pretty much it, let's just wait for this to copy across. Alright guys, so now this one is done as well, and there's actually one more thing we need to copy across. If you guys just go back to the data folder, just this one right here, um, and then go back. Um, I forgot about this one, the update underscore SM. So we're going to drag and drop this one into the data folder just like this. And then there you go guys, so what we can do now is actually go back onto our PS TV and um, we can carry on with the next steps. Okay guys, we're back, so you want to press circle for cancel, you want to press start, and the first option is actually to power off our device. You want to scroll down to where it says power off and you want to press X on this. Now obviously wait for it to power off and then once it's powered off for a few seconds, we can go ahead and power it back on. And now once it's powered back on, make sure you press the home button if you're on PS TV. And we're going to go and find Hencore 2. And what we actually want to do is just go and launch this up. So just press on start, just wait for it to load. And then just like normal, you just want to press exit straight away. So just wait for this to exit. And now we're going to go and launch, launch this one up. So it's the one with this icon, just press X on start to go and launch it. And it's going to say, please wait, module loaded. Um, it looks like hooks installed. Press start to exit. So what we're going to do, press on start. And then there you go, it can exit just like that. Now we can close it down. And now we want to go ahead and open up Moduru. And it's going to say this, do you want to downgrade from 3.72 to 3.65? Yes, I do. So we're going to press X to confirm. This software will make permanent modifications to your Vita. If anything goes wrong, there is no recovery. So what we have to do, we actually have to wait um, for 20 seconds. They just kind of want you to read this message. So basically saying if anything goes wrong, um, you know, it's, it's pretty bad. There's nothing you can do. Nothing should go wrong if you followed this video exactly. So now we're going to press X to accept. And then now all we have to do is wait. Now this is the next section. This is kind of like the system update section. What you want to do is when it says please wait, all we can do is wait for it. And now it's just going to say system update. So it's going to say installing the system software. This is installing 3.65 onto your PS Vita. Now once that finishes installing, it's actually just going to go on like a black screen for a second. And then it's going to try and reboot itself. And then there you go guys, you have to just wait for this message. And now it's going to start updating the database. That shouldn't take too long. You can actually press the PS button on your controller. And basically once it's rebooted like this, you want to launch HN Core 2 again. So let's just go ahead, launch this up just like normal. And now we can go ahead and take a look at the system settings. So let's go ahead, we're going to scroll down, we're going to go into system, system information, and there you go guys, a 3.65. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Um, if you're new, make sure to subscribe as well. I make tons of PSE videos. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.